Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through the story of all level mathematics and this video I'm going to talk about a topic called parameters for grouped data. So if you're in senior 3, senior 4, this video will be based for you. So group data consists of individual values of a variable that have been arranged in order and grouped in small number of classes. So what we are interested in is that word of classes and you group. So in senior two you covered ungrouped data, now we shall cover grouped data. So what you are going to do, we are going to start by listing the formulae that will be used in this video and after that we shall go to the examples to see how the formula can be applied to solve the questions given. So we shall start with the formula for mean. So mean for a group data is given by the formula mean equal to summation. So this symbol means summation and summation means adding. Summation of f, this f is for frequency and x is for mid mark or class mark we shall see how to get f and also how to get the mid mark then over summation of frequency so the formula we have to remember that some you get we first multiply frequency with mid mark then you sum everything after that you divide by the total of the frequency we shall see how this formula is used in the examples but sometimes they can give you assumed mean so that for example they can tell you to calculate mean given a working mean of say 45 so what what you do you have to remember that when you are given working mean here you put there your working mean so if you, if they say that the working mean is 45 it means that capital a is your 45 then you say plus summation of now fd previously we are using fx now you are using fd over summation of f so so D is equal to X minus capital A where A is the assumed mean and X is the mid max. So we shall see how this formula is also used under the examples. Now the next is the model class. For the model class we shall see that remember we know that mod is the number is the value with the highest frequency. Therefore model class will be the class with the highest frequency now that we know the model class we can go to mod and just then mod for group data is given by the formula mod equal to lm plus delta 1 over delta 1 plus delta 2 everything in brackets multiply by c so now lm is the lower class boundary of the model class we shall see how, how to get it. Then delta 1 is the difference between the model frequency and the pre-model frequency of frequency before the model class. That This is also delta 1 difference between the model frequency and the pre-model. Now model frequency is the frequency of the model class and pre-model frequency is the frequency be of the class below before the model class. Then delta 2 is the difference between the model frequency and the post-model frequency. Now post-model frequency is the frequency of the class just after the model class. Now C is what we call the class width. So class width, the diff class width of the model class. So you have to note that C is the class width of the model class. And it's got by getting the difference between the upper and the lower class boundaries so we shall see how this this formula is applied under the examples so another one is the median class and we shall see that the median class is the class which corresponds to a value greater than or equal to this so a value which is just greater than this just greater than a half n or equal to a half n now this n now is the summation of frequency so you have to add up all the frequencies and when you get the sum that will be your capital 
n then you divide by 2 in the cumulative frequency column so this cf means cumulative frequency column so all these terms will be clearly understood when you do examples remember math is done not is practiced not just read so lastly we shall go to median now median for group data is given by the formula that median is equal to lm plus in brackets capital n over 2 minus cfb over fm more everything multiplied by c so now in this case lm is the lower class boundary of the median class remember under mod lm meant lower class boundary of the model class but now when you are dealing with median lm will be the lower class boundary of the median class then n over 2 is the median position which is this then cfb is the cumulative frequency below before the median class so cumulative frequency of the class just before the median class is cfb so this b means before then fm is the frequency of the median class and capital c sorry small c is the class sudith of the median class remember under mode c meant class sudith of the model class but now when we are under median c will now mean class sudith of the median class so now that you have seen the formulas now let's look at the examples and see how the formulas can be applied so question example one came from uneb 1990 paper 2 question 20 and it says the table below shows the frequency distribution of weight in kilogram of luggage for a hundred passengers boarding the Uganda Airlines Airlines plane traveling from Dubai to Entebbe so these are the weights in kilograms and this is the frequency so frequency is the is the number of passengers boarding then they said find Roman 1 the mean weight and Roman 2 the median weight and Roman 3 the model weight so let's see how each of these can be got so before we do the before we answer the questions the first thing to do is to first draw a table to first tabulate your results so that we should for including all the columns that will be used to answer the questions so we have to draw a table having the column for which can be used to answer mean remember mean is summation of fx over f so we have to have a column of f and a column of x and a column of fx median we have to have a column of cf and mod we have to have a column of frequency so what you are going to do you are going to first put what is given so class is represents this which is given so the weights which have been grouped into classes is what we shall put under class so we shall come and put those values okay so now that we are done the next thing will be frequency so this f means frequency and frequency we shall put exactly what is given here so these corresponding values so shall come and list them down okay so next we shall now go to x now small x means the mid mark or the class mark and how to get it you'll get the average of these two now these ones if you look for these classes these first values are what we call the class limits low, lower class limits and these values on the right right hand side are what we call the values of the are what we call the upper class limits so these ones are lower class limits and these ones are upper class limits so what we do if you want to get x you add the lower class limit plus the upper class limit of that very class then you divide by 2 so when I add 50 to 
54 and I divide by 2 I'll come up with 52 when I add 55 to 59 and divide by 2 I'll come up with 57 when I add 60 to 64 and I divide by 2 I'll come up with 62 when I add 65 to 69 and divide by 2 I'll come up with 67 similar when I do add this I'll come up with 72 for this one I'll come up with 77 for this I'll come up with 82 for this I'll come up with 87 for this I'll come up with 92 and for this I'll come up with 97 for this I'll come up with 102 and for lastly for this I'll come up with 107 so basically that's how they generate the v column for X which is the mid mark now that we know f and we know x we can get the column for fx so that column for fx what you are going to do you keep on multiplying for each class so f and x for each class to get the value here so if i uh, multiply one times 52 i'll come up with 52 two times 57 i'll come up with 114 five times 62 i'll come up with 310 11 times 67 i'll come up with 737 21 times 72, I'll come up with 1512. Then 20 times 77, I'll come up with 1540. Then for this, I'll come up with 1394. For this, I'll come up with 870. For this, I'll come up with 552. For this, I'll come up with 388. For this, I'll come up with 204. And lastly, for this, I'll come up with one zero seven so basically that's how the values for fx can be generated and lastly what you have to do you have to add all these values now when i add all these values the sum i'll get i'll put it here under the row for total and those that value will be seven seven eight zero now next is to generate the column of CF. Now CF means cumulative frequency. In other words, you keep on adding frequencies. For example, I'm going to start with this one and put it here, which will be 1. Now this, I'll add, I'll say 1 plus 2 to come up with 3. Then 3 plus 5 to come up with 8. Then 8 plus 11 to come up with 19 then 19 plus 21 to come up with 40 40 plus 20 to come up with 60 60 plus 17 to come up with 77 77 plus 10 to come up with 87 87 plus 6 to come up with 93 93 plus 4 to come up with 97 97 plus 2 to come up with 99 99 plus 1 to come up with a hundred so to check yourself you must realize that this value corresponds to the total frequency that's how you can know whether you have added well or there's a mistake somewhere now lastly we are going to go to class boundaries now class boundaries if if you look at these classes if you look at this value and this value they are different so what you do, we are going to get the difference. The difference is 55 minus 54 to come up with 1. Now that 1, when you divide by 2, I'll come up with 0 0.5. So what does that mean? It means that for the lower class limits, for all these values, I'll, keep on, I'll be subtracting 0 0.5 to come up with the lower class boundaries. Then for the upper class limits, I'll keep on adding 0 0.5 to come up with the upper class boundary so let's see how that is done so for the first one if i say 50 minus 0 0.5 i'll come up with 49.5 and when i say 54 plus 0 0.5 i'll come up with 54.5 so these are the class boundaries for this class now i'm going to do the same for this one so 55 minus 0 0.5 i'll come up with 54.5 then 59 will come up with 59.5 then for the next 60 minus 0 0.5, I'll come up with 59.5. And 64 minus plus 0 0.5, I'll come up with 64.5. So when I do the same, for this one, I'll come up with 64.5 to 69.5. For this one, I'll come up with 69.5 to 
74.5 for this one I'll come up with 74.5 to 79.5 for this one I'll come up with 79.5 to 84.5 for this I'll come up with 84.5 to 89.5 for this I'll come up with 89.5 to 94.5 for this I'll come up with 94.5 to 99.5 and for this I'll come up with 99.5 to 104.5 and lastly for this I'll come up with 104.5 to 109.5 so basically that's how they generate the column for class boundaries so at this point I think we realize that for classes these values are different for each but for class boundaries the, these values are the same so you should always remember that that for class boundaries these values must always be the same if they give you a class when these values are also the same it means that the class is the same as the class boundary so now that we have generated our table we can now go and start answering the questions So we shall start with Roman 1. Roman 1, they wanted the mean weight. We know that mean is equal to fx. So what we shall do, we shall come and say that mean weight is equal to fx, summation of fx over summation of f. Now summation of fx, if you look at this, the total of all these values is what we call summation of fx, and the total was 7780. Then summation of f is the total of all the values of f, which is 100. So we shall count come here and say that summation of fx is 7780 and summation of f is 100 to give you 77.8 so that was Roman 1 now Roman 2 they said the median weight so for you to get the median weight you have to first get the median position now remember we said capital N is that it's represents total frequency and total frequency was 100 so just the capital N over 2 will be 100 over 2 to come up with 50th position now that we know the position we shall come and calculate our mean weight from the formula now from this LM remember LM is the lower class boundary of the median class so what you are going to do you will come back in your table and first look for the median class now for the median class is the value with whose which is a position which is great just greater than or equal to 50 so if you look at the values we got n over 2 as 50 so from 40 is less than 50 therefore the next value will be our median class because 50 lies within this range now this is our position for the median this is the median class this is the frequency of the median class and this is the cumulative frequency of the median class and this is the cumulative frequency before the median class so for this case we have said that the lower class boundary for the median class will be you go back to your median class and this will be the lower class boundary of the median class which is 74.5 that is why they put here 74.5 then when you come here 8 n over 2 is the same as this value which is 50 that's why they put 50 here then cfb is a cumulative frequency before the median class so when you go back to your table you go to this is a, your median class so the cumulative frequency before is 40 that is why they put here 40 then fm is the frequency of the median class so what you do you go to your median class and look for the frequency under that median class so frequency for the median class will be 20 that's why they put here 20 now lastly is to get C C is the class width remember class width is a difference between the upper and lower class boundaries so what you are going to do go to your median class and look at these class boundaries so you will say 79.5 minus 74.5 will give you the, what it will give you that will be your median class and that will be 5 so that's how they get the class width from the class boundaries but we can also get the class width from the classes by remembering that the, when you are getting it from the classes it will be 
upper class limit minus lower class limit everything plus one so what when i say 79 minus 75 i'll come up with four now that four i'll have to add one so it is up to you to choose which method is easier for you to get the class boundaries so you'll come here and write that our class width is five now for that we've got the class width we can now use a calculator and come up with our answer being equal to 77 so that was the median now we shall go to the model weight so for model weight you have to first get the model class and for the model class the class with the highest frequency so that means that you'll come here and look at your column of frequencies when you look at this column of frequencies the highest value is 21 so what does that mean it means that this is your model class so this is the position of the mode this is the model class and this is the model frequency now remember in the formula we talked about pre model frequency and the post model frequency now 21 is the model frequency now the frequency just before it is what we call the pre model frequency and that is 11 then the frequency just after it is what we call the post model frequency and that is 20 therefore our delta 1 was the difference between model frequency and the pre model frequency so it will be 21 minus 11 then our delta 2 was the difference between the model frequency and the post model frequency so it will be 21 minus 20 so that is why here we are seeing delta 1 being equal to 21 minus 11 being equal to 10 and delta 2 is 21 minus 20 to give you 1 now that we know delta 1 and delta 2 we shall come and write our formula for model for model weight model weight is equal to this is lm is the lower class boundary of the model class and this c is the class width of the model class so we have already got delta 1 and delta 2 now let's see our values for lm and c so when you look at this model class lm is the lower class boundary of the model class therefore lm will be 69.5 then c is the class width of the model class so remember i said you can get class width by getting the difference of the class boundaries or the difference of the class limits and you add one so when you use this one for class boundary, you will say 74.5 minus 69.5 to give you 5. If you use this, it will be 74 minus 70 to give you 74 minus 70 to give you 4. Then 4 plus 1 to give you 5. So any of the two methods will give you the same value of the class would So we know that the class width is 5 and and the lower class boundary is 69.5 five so let's go and substitute now the values we have got into the expression for mode so 69.5 we shall substitute it here then delta one was 10 to come up put it here delta one was 10 to put it here delta two was one to put it here and c was five to put it there so when you do that and we use the calculator we shall come up with that so the whole of this is equal to 4.5455 4 then when you simplify further we shall come up with our mod being equal to 74.0455 so basically that's what they wanted in this question so we have answered roman 1 roman 2 and roman 3 and had 12 marks so what we are going to do we are going to see how those 12 marks were awarded So in this table, for you to get generate those values of x, that was one mark, generating the values of fx, that was also another mark, then summing up those values of fx to get this total, that was also another one mark, then generating the values of f, that was another one mark, 
also generating the values of the class boundaries that was also another one max so one two three four five so the table took five max then we shall go to this slide for mean and median so m1 was substituting in the formula for mean and a1 is for the output which is the mean they want then for this m1 was substituting for formula in the median and a1 was forgetting the output which is 77 and that's what they wanted then for this one b1 was sorry to get delta 1 and delta 2 then M1 was for substituting the formula for mode and A1 was for you to get what they wanted. So basically that's how the 12 marks could come about. Now we shall go to example 2. Example 2 says Example 2 was good from 90, you name 1987 paper 2 question 99 says the frequency distribution below b shows the marks obtained in a physics examination by 2000 so these are the marks which have been grouped in small classes then these are the corresponding frequencies now frequency is the same as the number of students getting the marks in those groups then they said calculate part one mean mark using assumed mean of 55.5 so I think you remember the form when we talked about working mean or assumed mean. So in this case, they have given us an assumed mean. So instead of using f summation of f x over a summation of f, we shall use a, which is this, then plus summation of f d over summation of f. Then they also want the mod and the median. So let's see how such a question could be answered. So before everything, we have to first draw the table. So we are, what we are going to do, we are going to start with the classes. Now classes are these marks. So you come and put those marks there as they are. Okay, so next will be small f now small f means frequency so we have put these corresponding frequencies for each class and now that we have to add everything to come up with 2000 now next is small x i think remember how to calculate small x small x is calculated by getting the sum of the up lower class limit and upper class limit and then you divide by two so this and this will come up with 15.5 then for this it will be 25.5 35.5 45.5 55.5 65.5 75.5 85.5 and lastly 95.5 so now that we have the values of f and the values of x we can get the column of d but we can get the column of d now for, so the column of d Remember, D is given by the formula X minus A, and in this case, our A is the assumed mean, which is 55.5. So what you're going to do, for each of these values, we are going to keep on subtracting 55.5. So when I say 15.5 minus 55.5, I'll come up with negative 40. 25.5 minus 55.5, I'll come up with negative 30. Then this minus 55.5, I'll come up with 20, negative 20. For this, I'll come up with negative 10. For this, I'll come up with 0 because 55.5 minus 0, 55.5 gives you 0. For this, I'll come up with a positive value, positive 10. For this, I'll come up with positive 20. For this, I'll come up with positive 30. And for this, I'll come up with positive 40. So now that I've got the values of D and I know the values of F, I can add the t I can multiply the 2 to come up with the column for FD. So when I multiply 30 with negative 40, I'll come up with negative 1200. Then after that, I'll, for this, I'll multiply 60 by negative 13 to come up with negative 1800. Then this by this, I'll come up with negative 4400. For this by this, I'll come up with negative 
5400 this by this I'll come up with 0 this by this I'll come up with 3100 this by this I'll come up with 3600 this by this I'll come up with 3300 and lastly this will come up with 2400 so I also have to get, add all these values and when I add them up I'll come up with negative 400 so that's how they generate the column for FD and now we shall go to the column of CF so column for CF we start with this value and put it here then 30 plus 60 I'll come up with 90 90 plus this I'll come up with that this plus this I'll come up with this then this plus this I'll come up with that this plus this I'll come up with this then this and that I'll come up with that this and plus this I'll come up with this and this plus this I'll come up with this so I think realize that this value is the same as the value of the total frequency so that's how you can check whether you made a mistake in the addition or you were correct now next is for the column of class boundaries so class boundaries like I said you look at these values so here I have 21 here I have 20 so what I'm going to say I'm going to say 21 minus 20 I'll come up with 1 then 1 divided by 2 I'll come up with 0 0.5 so what does that mean it means that for you to get the column the lower class boundaries I'll keep on subtracting 0 0.5 from the lower class limits to get the lower class boundaries then I'll keep on adding 0 0.5 to the upper class limits to get the upper class boundaries so when you do that we shall get this for the first class then for the second class then for this it will be that this it will be this and that it will be for this it will be for this it will be for this it will be and lastly for this it will be that so best now we are finished to generate our table now th and the next thing is to now use the table to find to calculate the mean mark using um, an assumed mean of 55.5 and mode and lastly median so shall start with our mean mark mean mark is equal to a plus summation of fd over summation of f so our a is 55.5 as was given in the question then summation of fd remember we got summation of fd being equal to negative 400 and summation of f being equal to 2000 so that is what we shall sub substitute so for summation of fd we shall substitute negative 400 and summation of f we shall substitute 2000 when we simply f use a calculator the whole of this will be equal to negative 0 0.2 so when you say 55.5 minus 0 0.2 we shall come up with 55. Point threes and basically that's what they want in that part now I shall go to Roman 2 for Roman 2 they said calculate the mod so for mod you have to first get the delta so if you come to this table the mod is the model class is the class with the highest frequency so if you look at these values you realize that this is the highest frequency therefore we shall first and note that the whole of that row which we shall be using to get our value so if you want to get delta 1 you'll say this minus this then if you want to get delta 2 you say this minus that so that is why here they said that delta 1 is 540 minus 220 to come up with that and delta 2 was 540 minus 490 now next is to get our lower class boundary for the model class and the class width so lower class boundary for the model class will be 40.5 and the class width will be the difference between the two which is 50.5 minus 40.5 to give you 10 so class width is 10 and lower class boundary for the model class is 40.5 now we shall come and write the formula for mode and after that we shall substitute so lower class boundary was 40.5 delta 1 is this so we shall come and put it here then also delta 1 is this we shall put it there delta 2 is 50 so we shall come and put it here 
and class studies remember we said it was 10 so you shall come and put it there so after that we shall use the calculator uh, and when i add when i simplify the whole of this i'll come up with 8.6486 and when i add now the two i'll come up with 49.1486 so basically that's how they catch the mod so now we shall go to the next part which is median so for median the first thing to do is to get the median position so capital n was the total frequency which is 2000 over 2 to get 1000 what that means that you come back here and look for that median class so if you look at this column of cumulative frequency this is 850 and this is 1340 so 1000 lies in this that means that the whole of this becomes our row of interest whereby this is the median class this is the frequency of the median class which so frequency of the median class is 490 then the cumulative frequency before the median class is 850 then you also need the class width so class width is the difference between the class boundaries of the median class so 60.5 minus 50.5 will be 10 so we shall also need 10 as c then we also need the lower class boundary of the median class which is 50. Point five so now that we have got that we, shall, we can now go and answer our question we shall now say that median is equal to lm plus n over 2 minus cfb over fm everything multiplied by c where lm is the lower class boundary of the med median class which was got as we saw as 50.5 then n over 2 is this position which is 1000 CFB is a cumulative frequency before the median class which is so as 850 and FM is a frequency of the median class which is so as 490 and C was the class width which we got as 10. So when you simplify that you'll come up with this. So when I simplify only this part I'll come up with 3.0612 and when I add everything I'll come up with 53.5612. So basically, that's what they wanted, and now let's see how marks can be awarded. So the column of D, D is the, is called as is called deviation. See, D is deviation. The column of deviation. That is one mark, then generating the values of FD, that's also another one mark. Then summing up those values to come up with this, that's also another one mark. Then generating the column for F, that is another one mark. And generating the column for class boundaries, that's another one mark. So that's how the five marks could be got in the table. Okay, so for this case, M1 was for substituting and A1 was for the final output. Then here B1 for was for getting D1, delta 1 and delta 2. Then M1 was substituting the formula for mode and A1 was for the final output. So that's how the 5 marks could be got in this slide. So here M1 was for substituting and A1 was for the final answer. So basically, that's how the 12 marks could be got in this question. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I believe you have learned how to calculate mean, mode, and median for group data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with a set of questions for you to try out.
so that brings us to the end of this lesson thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions for the assignment left will be available in the next video so if you have not yet subscribed please click the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video with the solutions has been uploaded otherwise thank you for watching and also if you know any student who's not yet on this platform please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like facebook and whatsapp so that we can all benefit as a family remember this video this channel platform is for students right from senior one up to senior six